Hey guys, the Joe Broken Pod help here. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to you put music into the iPod that app dot app or the music dot app without having to um use a computer for like iTunes. Um, what we're gonna use is a program called Music Music. Um, and this is actually you have to pay for it. But guys, I'm gonna show you how to get it for three. And you're probably wondering, like, well, I've mentioned this in previous videos. If I think it's too expensive, I'll show you how to get it for three. If it's not too expensive, then it's okay so then just buy it but anyways I'm gonna show you how to get for three and then I'm gonna show you how to download and use it in general so to go get it just go into Cydia you don't have to search it up just icons do I load now there is a couple repos that will that can hack this well that hack this and music took like a long time to crack and that's why this video is up obviously because it it was just being able to crack now oh, wait a second now there's a couple ways to crack this. I know Excellus has it. Pretty sure it's simple. Insane. Probably not insanely high. And I hacked through both. Let me just check which ones. I got it from um, the one who cracked it in the first place, which I'm going to. Which I, this is the one I'm going to be showing you guys. And it doesn't have that many problems with it and this is iHacks repo and no Excel doesn't have it so just we're just gonna get iHacks repo now iHacks repo is pretty much easy to um it's easier to code uh put in the code than most repos because it's just iHacks repo dot com so click edit add Type in I hacks repo dot com. Then you click add source, but I'm not going to do that because I already have it. And it's when it's going to refresh, and then just go into I hacks repo, and you're going to go down to the M's, and until you find you see. Click right here, I'll say, um, install. Just click on that, and another thing will pop up. And just click confirm, and then let it do its work. And I'm pretty sure you have to either respring or something. Just do whatever it tells you to do. Um, once it's done, you can go into the app location. So, you see. Now, this button, there's a couple of, uh, different, oh, I can't get it, there's different, um, sources, so as you see, I'm using mp3ray.com, but, there's also hype machine, song.ly, dylandu.com, we can also do Google, but, but the default is hyper, because usually, usually it's downloads.nl, but it's down. And uh, add the iPod doesn't work for Verizon yet. Just putting that in there. 
so any song. Um I know it's Lady Gaga, whatever. So just type in uh, the name of the song. Sometimes you need um, the artist's name. And as you see, there's a bunch of remixes. Okay. Um, let's go with this one. So if you click on it once. I'll tell you to click one more to download, click twice to listen, to listen, click twice, see if you, and you listen to it, and then stop it, just shake it, and go back, now, to download it, just click it twice, and there you go, and it'll start downloading. And when it's a hundred percent, just click it downloads right there. Now, uh, if it has a, um, you know, this little mark, exclamation mark, just click on, oops, click on uh, the song, and click edit tags, and then just type in all the inform information. Then click save, and then uh, to put it into the music library, just click add the iPod, which we're going to do in a minute. To delete it, just click delete. And um, when you sync your computer back into iTunes, it's going to delete all the songs. So when you get back in here, just click resync. Re and I'll sync all the songs back in. So at the iPod. And it's important progress, please wait and it's importing it. And then import successful. You can now listen to your download song in your music player. Gonna, probably gonna say update in library. Oh no! Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. And that's how to download and import songs uh, without iTunes or a computer, guys. Uh, peace out. Hope you liked the video.